All right, let's have a look. This um two of the extended math questions. Yeah, the student asked me yesterday. So yeah, I finally have time to make for the student. All right, the first question is up, ask you to find the value of x. So you can see like x power of negative one over three equals to 32 x power of negative two. So for this kind of question, I will try to group the x together. So this is what I will do. This is x power of negative one over three. If x power of negative two move to the other side, right? It become divided, doesn't it? So it's sort of like something like this. If I want to eliminate the x power of negative two here, I will divide x power of negative two here. I will divide x power of negative two on the other side. Then here I can cancel out. I left a 32 here. And then we know the rule like if x a over x b is equal to x a minus b. This is the indices law because divide basically means minus at the power. So because of this, this is x power negative 1 over 3 minus negative 2 equals to 32. Alright, then this is plus 2. Then you can just sort of plus them together. This one will be like 6 over 3, isn't it? 6 over 3, you minus this one, you will get 5 over 3. Oh, equals to 32. Alright, if I want to get rid of the power of 5 over 3 here, I will just uh, multiply the power of 3 over 5 here. Then here, I'll multiply the power of 3 over 5. Because you can simplify them, left x power of 1 here. So then here, you can just type in the calculator. The calculator should tell you x equals to a. Okay, how do I know a? It's because 32 is 2 power of 5. And then this is 3 over 5. Then cancel out 2 power of 3, you know is a. All right, the answer will be a for the first one. Okay, the second one, they ask you to show that the, this line is perpendicular to another line. Okay, for perpendicular, we have a formula designed for perpendicular, which is the first gradient multiply the second gradient equals to negative one whenever they are 90 degrees to each other, or we call it perpendicular. All right, you must know about this formula so that you can do this question. So what I want to do is I want to find what is the gradient for first line and the second line here. And then I realize both are the straight line or we call linear. So therefore for linear, we want to know the gradient. The easiest way is we arrange them into the y equals mx plus c. Because then we can know about their m value. Then the first m1 means the first gradient here and then the second gradient here. All right, then I will arrange here. 4y equals to 5x minus 10 y equals to 5 over 4x minus 10 over 4. Then I got my first gradient. I will say m1 is 5 over 4. Then I do the same thing for the second line. 5y um, equals to negative 4x plus 35. I move the 4x to the other side, become negative 4x. Then y equals to um, negative 4 over 5x plus 35 divided by 5 is 7. Okay, I know my m2 is negative 4 over 5. Okay, if they are perpendicular, then right now I will do m1 multiply m2, which is 5 over 4 multiply negative 4 over 5. And you realize after I simplify, I get negative 1, isn't it? Yeah, right, shown. All right, this is how I show they are uh, perpendicular. If they are not perpendicular, both gradient you multiply, you will not get negative 1. You will get any other number like 2, like 1, like any other num number which is not negative 1, then we know they are not perpendicular. But if both gradient multiply, you get negative 1, definitely they are 90 degrees to each other. Alright, I hope this short video can help you understand about these two extended math questions. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.